Baron Gossi, stroke warrior, stroke survivor. Looking back to 2014, when I went to bed as an able man and woke up the next day as a disabled man due to a hemorrhagic stroke. I could not accept what had happened to me. I was in denial. I asked God, why me? But somehow I felt he was saying, why not me? Did I wish it upon anybody else to be in my position? At this point, no. I see past the anger and um, I had to understand the meaning of acceptance as the beginning of a healing process so that my healing journey would start. I remember when I could not lift up my hand, my right hand, my affected hand, or clinch a fist. But over time and space and having to accept where I was at that moment in time and period and having to accept that I had to go for rehabilitation, I had to go for physio, I had to go for occupational therapy, I had to go to the gym, I had to go for um, aqua therapy. and a psychologist on top of that but all these things for them to work it had to start with me i had to accept first in order to heal i know when when it's a, a stroke is a day old a month old two months old a year old it is the hardest part i had to go through that myself but one message I can tell you is that the only way I survived this whole ordeal of, um, of always asking questions and not getting answers or having to go to a psychologist and realize that they are not trained to deal with stroke or having to go to physiotherapists or occupational therapists, having to understand that they are trained to work with muscles. but they do not understand that um, different strokes for different folks. So I found that, you know, with uh, rehabilitation, it had to start with me before I go out there. That is my story and my glory. What might have worked for me might not work for you, but give it a try. Be kind to yourself count the little victories that you have every day because at the end of the day in your journey you realize that your new brain pathways they are always learning every day they just learn differently from when you were a child because when you're a child the messages came from the brain to your body so that it knew what time and what season and what ability was meant to be set free at that time but now after stroke post stroke the abilities come from the body going up to the new brain pathways so you have to always try and and maneuver or or train or uh, take a walk or visualize because that's what I did. I used to visualize a lot of things. I would visualize myself walking. I will visualize my hand moving. I will visualize my foot moving. I will do that for hours and hours. And then eventually one day, my fingers started uh, 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 twitching. I don't know if it might work for you, but it did for me. I do not own stroke. So I don't call it my stroke. I just call it stroke. The minute you say my stroke, it means it belongs to you. And with something that you own, you want to protect. 
I've always told myself that it is an imposter. It is going to go away and I am going to regain my body. Berenkosi, stroke survivor, stroke warrior.